his authority. Yeah. And the more he played, yeah. the more that he kept Saul under control. Yeah. And the Bible says that one day, yeah. while David was playing the harp, yeah. Saul took his spear and he threw it at David and tried to pin David to the wall. Yeah. But David escaped. And then the other day, David kept on playing and Saul had the spirit in his hand. And he threw the spirit again at David and tried to pin David to the wall. And the scripture ends by saying that David escaped not just once, but he escaped twice. So I asked the writer, I said, why would you emphasize that David escaped twice? And he said, it's because, I asked the writer, he said, it's because if you would have said once, then you would have thought that you got away by chance. But you would have thought that you was too fast. But the mere fact is, it's the same javelin and the same man that's throwing the same javelin at the same wall and you not just escape not just once but you escape twice all I'm trying to say is surely goodness and mercy was following David all the days of his life well good evening tabernacle of grace the flip side of success means that there's going to be painful separation the flip side of success means that there's going to be restriction the flip side of success means that it's going to bring out the worst and it's going to bring out the best but here's the last thing that I learned from this text and that success is also going to make you a target David became a target and the better you are and the greater you are you're going to be a target but I haven't been to seminary school but when I started preaching some 14 years ago Pastor Elliot told me you never close a sermon out on the negative you got to see something positive if you're going to close the sermon out you got to always give some good news and for the last 25 minutes I've been telling you some bad news for the last 25 minutes I done told you you got to separate from some folks I told you there's gonna be some haters and some players I told you that you're gonna be a target but somebody tell me where is the good news in this text but let me tell you what the good news is is that if you're gonna be a target for God's sake be a moving target tell the name of say Like that.